Okay, so I think in order to access the fuel filler housing assembly on the other side, if that's what you're talking about. So this is the piece that right here that we removed to get to the tail light. But I think you're gonna need to remove this whole piece. And that um, can be done if you lift up, if you have a storage compartment or somehow there'll be something here or, or just won't have this lid and it'll just be open. You start to see these trim uh, rivets. You'll take all those out and I think you could go all the way forward. I think this entire piece goes all the way, you know, toward the, past the seat. And I think that's what you have to take out. I saw this on a video actually for somebody that was doing something with a tail light. So I think you actually have to take that entire piece out. Um, and, and you might even have to take out this. Certainly this will just remove um, this piece here, removes. So I think, I think you're gonna have to do that whole thing. And I know that's not terribly helpful, but I don't think just having access through the tail light will be enough because I don't know, you know, if you take this out, and I'm sorry, I'm doing this with an iPhone now instead of my other camera. <clears throat> but if you take this out, I don't think you'll have enough access in there to get there. So this whole, this, this whole, I mean, this all needs to come out. That's just an electrical outlet. Huh, never really noticed that before. There's actually access panels up in there. And those don't even have anything in them. It's kind of weird. The other side has it too. See? So, uh, I think you need to get this whole thing out in order to have the proper access to this fuel filler on the other side. Because it's a little, that's a little forward.